a white as whistling as a lost bark smells of roses about a ghost of you couldn't clean the foolish things remind me of you they don't write lyrics like that anymore do they? <laughs> the news for the elderly. Hello! <laughs> Hello, dear. Yes, you know, today the Prime Minister, you know, you know, nice girl, nice young girl who runs the country. <laughs> yes. Yes, well, that, that's right, yes. You voted for her, you remember? Yes, the day you went out in the nice car, yes. Well, she's doing all right. Basically, yes, yes. Oh, but the world today, oh, oh, no, terrible, isn't it? And now the weather. The weather, yes. <laughs> Hello, yes. And what, yeah, mm, yeah. It's gonna be very nippy. Yes, it, mm, yes, yeah. Wanna wrap up warm. Mm, yeah, yeah. Plenty of woolies, yeah. You can't be too ca I say you can't be too careful. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, it's getting colder these days, don't you think? Oh, it's much colder. Yeah. Well, bye bye. Yeah. I'll pop round in the morning, all right. <laughs> Growing old, yeah. <laughs> normally, no. mate. Normally, no, when, normally. I, when, when it comes, right? Yeah. When it comes, I want it just, you know, <laughs> like that. Just, <laughs> and that's it. That's short, sharp, over, and everything finished. Nothing know. dragged out. No, yeah. nothing, all that lingering stuff. Oh, no, no, mate. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I mean, when would you ideally like, like to go? Well, when I'm about 95. <laughs> <laughs> just like that. <laughs> Tomorrow night on BBC Two, the start of a new 16-part classic serial. D.H. Lawrence's moving novel of the Depression, God's Good Earth. God is God, my Stanley. <laughs> hey, Mother, let me take his place. <laughs> what use are you? What kind of man are you compared to it? D.H. Lawrence's God's Good Earth, starring Benny Hill.
Than Benny Hill in God's Good Earth. Tomorrow night at nine o'clock. I went down to Wally Street yesterday. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Yeah, down, you know, where the clinics are, aren't they? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I go down there quite often, actually. Do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah to the, uh, you know, the artificial uh, um, inseminatory. <laughs> yeah. um, sperm bank, you know. <laughs> Because they've actually got they've got the biggest collection of sperms in the country down there. <laughs> well, you go you go down there and have a look at them, do you? <laughs> no, no. I mean, I, no. I mean, I go to stick some in. Oh. I'm a, I'm a I'm a donator. Oh, oh. Well, how, how do you do that then? <laughs> Well, I mean, I mean, how come? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, 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 I mean, how, how does it, how does it come about? That you, <laughs> you go, you go down there then. Oh, yeah. Well, like, there's a lot. I mean, there's a lot of women in the world. Right? Yeah, right. Yeah. And a lot of them, for you know, a lot for various reasons. Yeah. They, uh, they can't get pregnant. No. Because no. their husbands haven't got it in them. See. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> well, not as much as I have. No. <laughs> and obviously, yeah. they, you know, they need a virile, manly sperm to be <laughs> stuck in there and do the business like that. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm not being too technical for you. Am I? No. <laughs> but, but how, how, many, how many of these women are there then? Hundreds. <laughs> Hundreds. You're more virile than I thought you was. 